a standpoint of must-have accessories, this is it pretty much. You want to get the alloy gator, protect your rim right away from rim rash. I see so many people with nice rims and all of a sudden it's all scraped up and banged up and these rims aren't cheap. Even the standard stock one that comes with it, these things are at least $250. Just pretty much the rim itself, not including the tire. So you want to take care of that. The alloy gator runs you about maybe $179. Mud flaps run you about maybe less than $14, $15 bucks maybe. I'm not sure how much these were, I can't remember, but you can see it on our link description below. Mud flaps are recommended. If you can afford it, do PPF, at least on the high impact area, if you can do it. I would definitely do half a trunk. I mean, some people does it, but they're gonna have to maintain it. Half a trunk looked like the shadow right here. Here's a shadow. This is half a trunk PPF. The only problem with white is, the fact is it gets dirty really quickly. And if you can see PPF on the edges, when it gets dirty, it starts locking into that little dust and dirt starts building and trapping right here. I wouldn't do half a trunk. I would lease, you know, most shops will give you a pretty fair price for just the front end, the full front end wrap, which would include the whole front bumper, the headlights, the fog lights, as well as the side mirrors, the A pillar. I think they'll include the A pillar too, up to a certain point. They might cut it off here. Uh, since there's no roof, you don't have to worry about it's glass pretty much. And they'll wrap uh, again, that say your uh, mirror caps, they'll do the fenders. If they're really worth their money, they'll take the cameras out and actually do a clean job underneath and not just cut it over. Especially, you know, if they sell you that they don't lift anything out or take the emblem out, don't do it because with white color, if they don't do it right, all the dirt gets trapped. And this, uh, most people are just, I just don't know either, they're not experienced, but they can take the emblem off. I mean, they can get emblems themselves or you can get it at the Tesla service center. The emblems shouldn't cost you that much. Um, also, they can do the whole front. And what mine is, is a one-piece front. A lot of PPF, if you know, is there. They'll do a, a seam cut right here. And it, for me, or the white car, it shows definitely, even though they try to merge it together. Mine's actually one piece, you can see here. Let's see if I can get in there. Get a little detail, you can see it. So my PPF actually goes right all fully around. You know, like I said again, um, take it to Protection Film Solution. They'll take care of you. They'll give you a quote, uh, Albert off of Aldemar Mall, Mall Peakway. They roll their edges, everything's cleaning. They'll protect your glass from impact. So these are must have, I believe, at least get the front end PPF. And then you can do the ceramic coat and all the rest to help, you know, get a little hardened to your paint. But if you could even do it even better, just take the whole car and PPF it, which I have right here, the whole door, the whole uh, trunk and everything. But again, it's gonna cost you a little bit. It's in the range of anywhere from six to $8,000 including ceramic coating perhaps and um, the front end might run you about 1500 to 2500 just depending how much you really want to cut it covered i mean it's investment you know what i mean this car is worth a lot i wouldn't recommend you uh taking shortcuts on it uh you can see here this is our other seal this is probably one of the best seals i ever seen yet in the market again i really won't recommend anything unless i actually tried it myself and see the quality of it because oh look at this little guy here <sighs> there we go blow them out it doesn't deserve to be in the in the trunk of my uh, Tesla or Frank see that right there nice and clean throughout the edges let's see if I can get the resolution there for you it's a nice day today it's getting cooler there you go just can't seem to get the resolution right okay well you guys can see the little edges there so yeah just pretty much use your thumb and kind of guide it a little bit or your index finger whichever you prefer and just kind of like you know put it on there and then press on it and after everything's all laid out we got the edges in here all right let's go and close this guy up he's ready to roll another must-have might be these are nice to have in case you scrape your bumper you get onto a lot a lot of things are in the description below. You guys will see everything I put on here. Uh, guard good for like weather. Sometimes in the hot sun, these things get, even though I guess they're aluminum, but they, they get warm pretty hot. Um, let's see what else. You know, get a good window tint. I don't have any recommendation for window tint, but get, yeah, I think Expel XR Plus, probably one of the good kinds or even uh, 3M or um, I believe uh, Liner or something like that. I can't remember all the brands out there. Um, door seals are a must. Mine actually does PPF all the way through here and it stops right here actually. So they gave it extra block here of this kind of a paint protection film here as well. And then I think, I, like I said again, I put these on myself. 
You know, also you can get some good door mats, floor mats, I mean. Also, you know what? I don't realize why people would spend money on the white seat covers and they, I mean, they look really nice. I definitely, if you can afford to do it, but for me, I figured, you know what? I can want to change it up maybe sometime. Maybe I want to go back to black, but I got the black seats originally. And you can see these seat covers here. By the way, this is 7,500 miles in usage right now, these seat covers. And they look freaking stunningly new. I mean, you know, there's not much blue jean transfer. Just take a, you know, that wash, wireless wash. Nah. Uh, also recommend the dash wrap because even though it's just for aesthetic, if you really want to protect the wood underneath it, I would recommend getting a dash wrap. And these aren't uh, much. They might run you about maybe a... I think maybe $60, $70 perhaps, maybe lesser, just depending on the brand that you get. And again, I don't even have kids, but and I don't really have a habit of kicking my door here. But these look nice. If you do decide to put these on, one recommendation is get a permanent marker. Before you put it on, trace the edges black, will you? The reason why, if I wish I had done that before I put this on, because you don't want the white seam to show, but since it's getting dirtier a little bit right here on top, it's actually starting to blend in now, the darkness of it. So I guess it, the white doesn't stay white forever, so you don't have to worry there. That's one thing you don't have to worry about, white staying white, not in your seat. Uh, these doormat, one thing I want to let you know though, the only problem with them sometimes is they give you like little rokas here, but if you notice there, this thing, I don't think this thing actually lifts to go underneath it, right? And you really want to get it fit, squeeze it, up a little bit high but you see they're beautiful and they're super comfortable when you get your socks off i had some 3m earlier if you like more of the rugged look but if you want more of the luxury feel i really recommend this one the description is in the link below it's called um floor mats luxury and they are pretty much i think they're pretty durable too and they got a little softer um they might change the model a little bit but they have a little pad here where your feet actually gets in and it grips uh, the center council wrap, you know, if you like carbon fiber like I do, I kind of like that clean carbon fiber look. This one's again, it's in the description below. But not only that, but you also get, if you actually um, order the center council, again, just what I was just saying here. Oh, by the way, this is pretty much how I have my phone hooked on. So I'll lay my phone right here, and then I can actually watch what, what you know, well, not watch, but put it up there where I can listen to my uh, YouTube or my passenger, let's say, right? Because the car is not supposed to just drive on its own without intervention. Well, anyway, I'll use this to charge it because, you know, that way I can use my phone at the same time. Because you dock it here, even though it's a great charger, and you can lay your phone any direction. You can lay it this way. You can go the other way. And you can also charge it this way. I usually get things that are multi uh, versatile not just you know one way that's why you'll see in a little bit here of all the stuff I actually um, and it, but I think these are must-have wireless charger for convenience but also you want to get a charger for really really this is fast charger but not really fast charger to be honest with you you might want to put your phone there and not use it and just you know close the lid or just have it for emergency so you could peek at it in case you have like a doctor's appointment or something your you know Tesla will read it to you but for emergency only but if you really want to be able to charge it fast while using it I recommend just connecting it to your uh, your power cord cable to a, a USB 3.0 power cord. And I use Anchor brand. Again, just a recap of what I actually use to make my life more convenient. There we go. So this is what I use to speed up my charge. It has two of them, two dual. I believe it's 3.0. This charger probably only handles 2.5 USB, but it's still really fast. You know, I just leave it at charge like this. A little organizer here that you guys saw earlier i did i think i still love it i mean it just keeps things a little bit more extra pocket now what i do is i didn't just get the little short kind i got the one that goes way deep way deep in there see that and then what i did was i tucked in and it comes with when you get the wireless charge it comes with a splitter for you and then what i did was see that if i ever need some extra whatever i need to adapt this to maybe you have one that can convert to a you know if you have an iphone but i can use everything micro usb and the thing about this one is, not only do I just charge my phone right here, but I'll swing it back and I'll charge my air conditioner, I mean my vacuum handheld was right here in the back. See there? So I get everything that is multi-purpose now. I do probably want to get iPhone because I think the battery on the iPhone lasts so much better. I'm trying to see which direction it goes before I just force it in there. I believe it goes this way. Maybe I'm not mistaken. Okay. Yep. Goes this way, so the TP goes on top. Flex around. 
There you go, see? I just charge it like that. There it is, it's charging. And when it turns, I think maybe blue or let go, it'll stop charging. You just need to really charge it for a good 10 minute solid. And it's ready to go for another 30 minutes of vacuuming strength, you know? You can't use it while, see that? You can't push it, you can't use it while it's still charging, unfortunately, but that's okay. I mean, you don't need to use it like right away, right away. So let's see what else I got. Um, and then I just close it up right here. I didn't bother getting the liner because these things are a nice and you know rubber ready and I don't really use that much. I forgot to put all the parts here. Okay, and then underneath it, very important, is my security sentry mode. Again, how you actually record or stop recording is you can save the last 10 minutes of what we did today outside. You can just, just tap that real quick like that. See how that's like a download. There you go. It takes about maybe less than 20 seconds. Okay, there you go. It says it's saved now. What it is, is saving right here in this little storage. And I don't believe in the micro USB, uh, pretty much USB adapter. You want to get, I mean, I, I don't believe in not having the micro USB card, a micro SD card, because you want to get the high endurance one. Uh, the other ones will fail on you over time. And if you're going to invest something, you might as well have it there for a long time. And what's great about Tesla now is they actually, um, once you actually label the file, I think it's Tesla uh, space, uh, not space, just Tesla cam, the folder, you can actually leave it in there and it will actually overwrite when it's full, but it won't overwrite your save one that we just did earlier. So you can see here, I, I use this kind of guy here. Now how to take it off? Oh, I think I knocked it off anyway. So you can see here, my camera's gone. I think I might have knocked it off by doing this. So anyway, so here we go. <laughs> I'll take it off right now so you guys can see it. See that? What's great about this is you can pop it right in your phone. You have an iPhone. It does actually have an iPhone adapter. And then if you have a USB, you can put in your USB in your computer. And if you have just your Samsung phone, it doesn't have a C connector, unfortunately, but there is an adapter for it. I believe I have it somewhere. But you can just flip this over and you have a micro USB right here. You put it right into your phone and if you download the app, I believe it's called Tesla Dash Cam or something like that. You can actually see all four cameras and during, you know, variations. But this is really why I use here, I use this card, I use a micro SD card because they say they don't recommend using a USB straight flash drive because they're not made for continuous recording. So this is what's what I use. I use the high endurance one right here. Samsung 256. I kid you not. I think I have three months of recording in here and then um, you can format this FAT32 There is programs out there that will format this to FAT32 for you because it needs to be FAT32 You have to format it first FAT32 before you can grow and create the file folder uh, Tesla Tesla cam all in one word T-E-S-L-A Capital C and lowercase a m dash Tesla cam. That's it and you could put it back in here So this is great for high endurance you know, I think this might actually um, be more solid than this this USB here. But, you know, it's a really good deal. I mean, you could put your all kinds of stuff in there. Look, it even has a C-Type 2, I believe, to charge. So you can actually attach another wire cable and use it for a C-Charger as well. But, yeah, uh, this is it. This is what I use to actually uh, have security in my car for peace of mind. So let me see if I can reach over there and put it back. And you can see here all the wires are really neatly down there. They're not chaotic everywhere. And the only thing I keep up here again is just the, the extra extension cord in case I ever need to use it for something else. You know what I mean? I have a little adapter to go to another micro USB. Uh, or I can charge my my Anchor portable uh, 500 milliamp battery backup thing. And then I can take this with me if I ever need to go and, you know, for camping or whatever I need it for, you know, recording or anything like that. I can just plug this into my Anchor brand here. So I use a lot of Anchor brands. I, rec I really recommend it because they these things um they last a while and they got great warranty too if you buy it through amazon you can just easily return it of course but after that the year manufacturers warranty they still offer it so i use it pretty much anchor not anchor okay there's brands out there it's called anchor this is anchor uh, like anchor what a-n-k-e-r uh see that right there a-n-k-e-r not anchor i think some of them i think they're trying to steal the the brand name Anker. Anker is not a bad brand too. I, I've seen some of it, um, but I prefer just Anker because they actually, they have their own store for one thing also. They're pretty legit. Um, so let me go ahead and put this guy back in here. 
see if I can do it one hand, right? So let me see. I might have to reset my my uh, my car uh, screen. That will get me my camera icon again. You can see here the camera icon is completely gone. It just have Sentry mode. Uh, sentry mode works only as an alarm. It doesn't need a chip. A lot of people think that Sentry mode it needs this chip here to record and everything. It triggers the dash cam so it'll record, but it doesn't, you know, if you don't have storage, it's not going to trigger recording of any sort. So you definitely want to get your dash cam all geared up and ready. Let's see if I can do this. Maybe I'm not even in the right direction. Yeah, I'm not I'm facing each other the same. Okay, so here we go. What I could do is just this. Watch the minute I say it, I already got it in there. There you go, see that? I got it in there. There you go, and it lights up when you actually put it on there. This is by Suntria. So that's it, I'll just leave it down hanging like this. You can see there's quite a bit of room too. And it also gives you a little flap too. I'm not sure why people are buying extra flaps when they actually give you those little rubber mats, right? You can see this has a rubber mat right in the bottom. You can just grab it from this side and lift up like this, see that? I'm not sure you can see it. See that, you can just lift up like that, so. That mat came originally with the car already. So you can actually clean it easy. Oh, there it goes, look, it came back. That was easy, huh? All right, so anyway, what I do is I scoot it nicely in here. See that? You want to make it flush. So this goes all the way. There's a lot of them that goes halfway only. I don't care for the halfway one because I really want to use the top storage as well for this one right here. And then I can just hide things like right here and so forth. So again, the center council wrap is a must. That's what I was going to show you. Where's my my wallet again? I was going to show you uh, what comes with it. When you get the center council wrap, they actually give you... Oh, let me go and close this one back. All right, I guess I didn't have to reset my car. And then you can put your glasses on there as well. You know, what I do is I have a few of my Elon accessories, um, you know, microfiber. By the way, a trip to clean your microfiber screen is a lot of people, when they do it so thinly, it'll detect your fingerprint and it'll actually start moving around the mat watch. See that? You don't want to do that. If you fold the disc in four, very simply, you can, you can pretty much, instead of going to your screen, Open display setting. I should just say display setting, really. You don't have to actually go to display and go screen screen. I mean, and turning it off. That way it prevents it from moving around. If you were to fold the, the naps, like Elon Accessory has already pre-folded like this for you. See that? It won't go through. Let me see if I can close. See, I can't. So look. Just takes four levels. That's it. You can clean your screen like this. And it's actually a little bit more better strength anyway, right? So there's another tip for you, how to clean your screen without having to go all the way down to, you know, disabling the screen to make it black or turned off so you can actually clean it. Just fold in like four. I don't think you could do it with three either. Let's try three. Let's try two first, right? Here we go. This is two, okay? Just two folds. See, two folds still sensitive. Okay, let's try three folds. Let's see how we can do three folds. Let me see, like, how would we do three folds? It seems like it's always going to be four folds. All right, here's one. I believe this is three folds, right? Like a burrito wrap. Okay, this is three folds. Three folds will work too. It barely works. <laughs> it looked like I could still get a little bit action going on. But yeah, you definitely want to make sure you at least fold it, you know, um, more than three. How about that? Or just three and above. So that's it. I just keep this here so I can actually uh, have my glasses and everything. Pretty much an organized guy. Freak. Okay, so thanks to Elon Accessories, I got plenty of these because he's always giving them away. I keep them myself too, and I have something to give away too. Speaking of giveaway, don't forget to uh, like and subscribe and answer those two questions I asked earlier to win that pretty much that hub, uh, that center cap for your. I believe that, like I said, it's probably for 18 inch wheels, but if you have it and it fits the five lug and can do it then i guess it works for all okay so let's go ahead and see what else i got here to share with you yeah i couldn't find my wallet earlier i was going to show you oh yeah i keep a little black oh look at that Sorry. it's too fast okay so i keep this here you know why because i don't want to scratch my center console the purpose of having center console is so you won't scratch your piano black <laughs> so i have layers and layers of uh things that i put on top 
uh, just to make sure. And besides, I kind of like the, the nice handkerchief here easily. What I do is I scoot this handkerchief over like this, and then I can access my area. Then I can just bring this back down. Like I said, again, I rarely use this in case I just want to put my phone and have it charged there. But for the most part, I'm usually uh, out elsewhere. My wallet just fell back here or something. So let me go and find my wallet real quick here. I want to show you what actually comes with the center console. There it is. So the center console, before they, when you order it, they used to give you, oh, it's actually always been in here. They would give you this plastic holder here. The reason why I think they gave my card holder didn't work prior before, but now it does. So, so I'll take it out. You can see how new it is. Really less than any scratch. Let's see, you can see it a little bit more better. See that? No scratch whatsoever, right? Well, I see a lot of people wore it there. They give you this little plastic one. And when they actually, you actually order it, the EV wrap by Human Friendly, I believe. So anyway, it used to not... Okay, there you go, it detected it. But before it didn't work, so they gave you a plastic wrap to help protect it. So again, this must have, I believe, the center council, the floor mats. Uh, these are aesthetics, but they actually feel good. They actually grip a little bit better. So I kind of like them. They're not like you know make your car performance anything, but they just look really much more cleaner. Floor mats, all weather, I recommend. Uh, kick guard if you have kids. Um, these are probably optional accessories, but they're kind of nice to be able to throw a little trash in there. Again, going back to our door seals, I believe these are must now because I really see how nice they are. They're fully wrapped around and there. We did this guy from the other end, I believe, right? Yeah, we did. We came from the back end. Actually, that was easy to do it from the back end. Look at that. Look how nice they look. You couldn't do it if you were to actually try to get it from this side anyway. But when it came from here, it's no problem whatsoever. You know, you can see here how it kind of came down. There we go. This could have got in a little bit more. I'm not sure why. The crease mark here. Should have got in a little bit more. That's okay though. See that right there? We could have got in a little bit better, but that's okay. It's pretty much sealing its own individual already. You can see there. That's the most important part. So everything is sealed really nicely. This door is fully trained to seal as well. You can see here. And now all it's left to do is pretty much take it for a test drive. You can see this one actually slaps really easily down. The trunk's already done. The trunk liner is also important. I think it's a must have. This is probably very convenient. It hides things neatly. Aesthetically it looks pleasing, but I think it could be a must have as well. Um, let's see what else, the trunk liner. Talked about already. There's quite a bit on there. On the description below, you'll see a lot more than I could probably cover in this video. You can see here, it creates really nice seal. Really pleased with it. And then this is the original one. It feels just the same, if anything. The original one's a little bit more slippery, but it doesn't feel like it's any more thicker. The original one here. Okay, I'm gonna take something to protect this shortly. Uh, seat covers are must. What's great about it, you have the option of getting white seat covers that you didn't get before for $1,000, you just paid $250. You got not only just seat covers, but you can actually, when they're wore out, change them, have a better resale value in your car because you actually kept your car interior mint condition. Seat covers, the floor mats again. Talked about that already. There we go. Oh, that's right, I also forgot to mention, you're gonna need some sunshade too as well. Uh, you know, even if you put like a good uh, film protection, uh, you definitely wanna get the actual physical sunshade. So let's head out and actually test this out and see how, what we're doing. Gotta get my chair here, let me just close this up. All right.